here then is wrestling and wrestle war on the retrotech 120p challenge and uh, if you've never seen the retrotech 120p challenge before basically you join the retrotech group you play the 20p challenge by throwing a 20p in the air which is what i do it smashes and it kills the neighbor's cat um, a big apologies to that neighbour there, sorry about that. And uh, basically see how far you can get with that 20p. And uh, I have got um, Wrestle War in front of me. And it is a wrestling game by Sega that came out in 1989 in the arcades. And then the year later on the Mega Drive, might have been two years later. Uh, the main character changes his hair from blonde to black. And there is me kicking seven shades of Shinola out of the first guy. Before I've even finished my intro, I didn't hang about, did I? Um, so yes, he's uh, had a rough time of it, this Mohawk guy, who I don't think is based on anyone. Might be a Mad Max character. Um, the next guy is based on Bruiser Brody, um, who was a wrestler, for those not in the know. who was very famous in Japan, an Australian guy, um, big presence. Um, if you ever play Vendetta, in the guy with the chain, I think, was based on him, because Bruiser Brody used to come round down to the ring like spinning a chain around and uh, there was a, a villain in that who did the same um, but uh, in terms of the real Bruiser Brody he had a very ignominious end he was went to a show in Cuba or somewhere like that maybe um, one of the other sort of mid-American countries and he unfortunately um, got on the wrong side of certain people ended up getting stabbed in the locker room and they never found his assailant and um yeah, there's a great documentary called um, The Dark Side of the Ring that uh, dealt with deals with different things in each episode to do with wrestling because there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on in the background there. Um, but um, well worth a watch because it is some fascinating stuff. These void heads, uh, some interesting people. Um, but yes, anyway, getting back to Wrestle War, interesting game. Um, there are characters based on uh, people like Hulk Hogan. Uh, to the point where the the case in Japan just used a picture of Hulk Hogan without his permission. They changed a couple of the colours on the clothes he wore. Exactly the same apart from that. I might put that up on the screen. Um, there's another guy. Um, basically, it's obviously based on Japanese wrestling. And I think my first continue is about to go. Um... Yeah, that big pile driver is usually the finish to a match, and uh, my first continue is up. But there are uh, wrestlers based on... Um, Road Warrior Hawk, who uh, you may know better as being one half of the Legion of Doom. Um, the second guy, uh, or third guy rather, you face in the game, um, who will be coming up in a minute, because I do get beyond this uh, Bruiser Brody esque chappy, who's actually known as Don Dam Buster, um, is. Uh, yeah, the next guy is based on uh, Jason from uh, Friday the 13th. Um, but also there was a wrestler called Jason the Terrible who basically took the gimmick of Jason Voorhees and just decided to cosplay as him, as a lot of these wrestlers do. They take a, they see a notable idea and they copy it. Uh, there are people based on um, Stan Hansen as well. Um, and uh, Abdullah the Butcher is the final boss. Um, well, a variant of them anyway. Um, what do I think of this game? It's... Well, I mean, it came out the same year as WWF Superstars, but WWF Superstars is the much better game. Um, it's fine, I guess. It, you know, it, it followed the... I go for a very cheap win here, by the way. It followed the formula of a lot of the wrestling games on the time on the NES, so by being a button basher. There's not... A massive amount of skill in it as I say if you have an autofired joypad or a joystick before the weeks out you should get quite far in it I didn't want to do that and besides I haven't got one
if you, if you do have a run later on in the week and he's not a fan, but just say at the beginning and you know I don't complain I don't think it's not that important is it <laughs> anyway this is a Jay, Jason Voorhees guy um, who appears to have very pink skin interesting uh, I don't know we you know we've all done it we've all gone out in the midday sun and uh, not on, put on the right sun factor not at the moment obviously as we head into Christmas Day, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, um, about I think it's about ten o'clock or something like that. So um, I expect this video to get about three views uh, <laughs> before before the week is out. Because who's watching YouTube on Christmas Day? Not many of us. I can't deny. I probably will. Because um, we're all at home, I suppose. So maybe it will be a big viewing day that last move there was an inzaguri and he does pin me with it and my challenge is at an end didn't do very well um had a bad run of late and um i'm hoping um we move away from fighting games just for a little while but uh yeah that's the end of the challenge and i will be back next week um i hope you will too and okay thanks bye